Here I am, as you can see. Hood's back up on it. All that jazzy stuff. See there. About ready. About ready to try to start this thing. Kind of got my fingers crossed because you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to try this key right here. I don't think it starts it, but I'm going to try it. It does work. As you can see, that ain't the remote. That's just ballet key. I think all it does is starts it. I got damn heaters that warm my bunghole and everything like that on my seats. Stereo, be jamming. We're going to see if we can find Yeah, pretty good, I guess, I reckon. Not bad for, you know, having all them miles on that mother right there. Jesus, God almighty, that's a lot of miles, but not for a Honda. Hondas, they go forever. I'm going to delete that there. Because that's new old change, new, new transmission. Go from there. I guess that's it. That damn CD player's on the fritz. Listen to it. Damn woman stuck a CD cleaner in there. Clean, supposed to clean the laser eye. Messed it up real bad. And there it finally quit. It does it for a little while. But yeah, I got this jewel running. Only paid $500 for it. Can't beat that. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. But like I said, you Honda guys. Can't pull that motor out the top, got to come out the bottom, bottom, got to, got, to, got to come out the bottom. No, it comes out the top, I reckon. At first it wouldn't run right, check in the light was on, said VTEC screwed up, is the message I got. And uh, I went to pull it off to replace the VTEC solenoid down there by the crank sets or that thing the oil filter screwed on to. Well... I put the motor in, I forgot to plug it up. Sometimes you screw stuff up, sometimes you don't. I try not to, but sometimes I do it. But I plugged it up and she fired right up. All the gears work. I'm ready to go out for a ride, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.